How to reference in Microsoft Word. Here's how. You can use the referencing tools built into Microsoft Word to properly cite the sources in your essays and assignments following the Harvard referencing system. So open up your document in Word, and then we need to go to the References tab on the top ribbon. This is where all of your referencing tools are kept, and we need to make sure we change the style to Harvard referencing. At the moment, it's on APA, which is the default setting. So we click in APA here, and we scroll down to Harvard Anglia. Now, it's important to know that this tool is only available in the desktop version, not the online version of Word. So we're going to start with something that's often overlooked, and that's our lecture notes. So what we do, we click where the citation should go just before the last full stop of what it is we're citing. And then we're going to click Insert Citation and Add New Source. We're going to change the type of source from Book here down to Miscellaneous. So we scroll down to the bottom, Miscellaneous. Now I'm going to choose myself as the author, and we're going to pretend that your lecture notes are from my lectures. So we're going to click my name, we'll click author here and write Mark Dixon. Then we're going to click title, and that's the title of the lecture. So the title is Lecture, How to Use Microsoft Word's Harvard Reference. We don't need a publication date because it's, a, it's an in-person lecture. The year is 2024. We can put city if we want, and we'll put Nottingham. And then we click OK. And your citation is now inserted into your text. You can reuse this source later in your text, and they'll all be listed in your citations dropdown. So for a website, it's a similar process. After clicking just before the last full stop of the source, we choose Insert Citation and Add New Source. We're going to change the type of source to Website. And this time, we're going to input the website as a corporate author, unless you've got the author's name. So we're going to be citing this page on the gulf.uk website. So let's copy the URL and head back to Word and just paste the URL in here in the URL field. Then we can change the author to gov.uk. The name of the web page, which was Building Excellence World Class Construction Capabilities. So we need to include the year that the website was published, if we know it, and we do, it was 2015. We need the year that we accessed it, which is this year, which is 2024, the month, which is April, and the day, which is the 12th. And we click OK. And you can see there that the citation has been added. Referencing an online journal, well, what we do is we click again where we want to add the citation. We click Insert Citation, Add New Source, and this time we change it to Journal Article. We fill in all of the information in the fields. So the author is May Soon, that's May Soon, comma I. The title, which is Thermal Resistance of Masonry Walls, a Literature Review. We add the journal name where the article appeared, which is the International Association of Building Physics. The year is 2014. The pages where the article appears, which is from 528 to page 567. The volume number of the journal, which is four. Then we have the issue number, which is two. We need the year that we accessed it, which is this year, which is 2024. The month, which is April and the day, which is the 12th. And we click OK. And our citation is included here. For a print journal, the process is much the same as for an online journal. The only difference is you don't need to add the URL. So again, we go to Insert Citation, Add New Source. It's a journal article. But this time, we've got multiple authors. So we click in the Author field and click Edit. And we put in each of the authors as they appear in the source, not alphabetically. And we add each author. And we add the rest of the information as we did before. If you're referencing internal or corporate training material, choose miscellaneous again, like we did for the lecture notes. Enter the details of the training, including the title, corporate author, such as your company name, and the date of the training session. So once all of your citations are in place, you need to scroll to where your bibliography would be. We scroll all the way down to the end of our assignment. 
and we click insert page break. We go to the blank page where we want our bibliography to be and we click the bibliography button here and we choose the style that we want. I'm just going to go for bibliography. And Word automatically arranges your references in Harvard referencing style alphabetically. So what if you need to make edits? What we do is we click on the manage sources button. To so find the source that you want to change, I want to change this one, Hetherington. I've spelt Dixon with a C instead of a, an X. So we're going to click edit. We're going to click Dick on and we're going to double click on it to open up the field. We're going to change the name so it's spelled correctly and we're going to click OK. We're going to click yes to that, which is going to update our master list and we're going to click close. Now you can see that it's not updated yet on our bibliography. So what we do is we click this little box here in the gray area and you get these extra options appear. And we're gonna click this update citations. And now you can see that we've got the name spelled correctly. So now you know how to Harvard reference in Microsoft Word. If this video helped you out, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more Tuesday tech tips. Your engagement really does help the channel grow towards my long, long journey of getting to 100,000 subscribers. If you've got any questions or extra tips, then drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip. So open your document. So open up your Word document. So open up your Word document. Are you f***ing joking? Got a f***ing ice cream van out there. <laughs> Brilliant.